Indian Polyurethane Association is what it is. I am Sunil Minocha. I am the Secretary General of Indian Polyurethane Association. We have an office in New Delhi. I am I am based in New Delhi. I am working out of the office here, and uh, we are an association which is comprising of around. 200 plus members which includes msmes which includes multinationals which includes all sectors now here you have a picture you see polyurethane is a product which is used everywhere and anywhere if i can say that you cannot miss using polyurethane you have to use it every day or every every hour or every minute you can never be more than 10 feet away from polyurethane we are wearing the same in our shoes in our garments we are sitting on polyurethane while i'm while we are talking to each other we are traveling on polyurethane whether we travel by motorcycle cycle car bus train so it is used in eatings we have a cold drink, we have a cup of coffee, we use it in refrigeration, we use it in our homes, in construction. <clears throat> so polyurethane is a very, very versatile material. It is used in paints, it is used in the adhesives. So this is one product which is used everywhere and that is why we are here today to introduce this to you. The objectives of the Indian Polyurethane Association are that we are basically promoting and advancing the manufacture, trade, export, sale and consumption of materials. We are aiming to build a pedigree of future industrialists by offering this one year course. I can assure you all students that there are good opportunities available for good students and till date, we, our industry is facing a, a challenge to get right trained manpower. And now with the made in, Make in India or Make in Bharat campaign by the Indian government, we, are, we should be ready, we should be future ready. So that is why we, we would look forward to having you on board at this course. So that is our primary objective and uh, yeah, next one slide. So this move, as I said, is very timely. Today, if we, if we, if we join this course and if we finish this course after a year and during this one year, each student is going to spend six to eight weeks in the industry. Industry has offered internship and internship projects as a part of the course so that both of us know each other before we start working or before we step into it. That is the, that is the commitment from our side. The PU market in India uh, is uh, in the next slide where we show how big is the market or where all is the market? I said, Kirk, can we have the next slide, please? Yeah. So if you see the PU market today is 790,000 metric tons, which includes, which is, which is spread over the country. The least consumption being in the east but let me tell you east is catching forward very fast these days we have expansions coming up in north west south and east all over so the industry is growing and today we are a 790000 metric tons consumption of polyurethane in india alone while i say this i also would like to say that the per capita consumption of home in India, if we compare ourselves to a country like China, which is 
today we are maybe one fifth of that consumption. I say can correct me uh, if I'm making a wrong figure, but China is consuming five times more than us. So that is the opportunity for for the industry. Next. <clears throat> So in the next slide, we will be showing you the projected demand of the polyurethane. We expect the industry to grow by 10 to 11% every year. So this figure of 790,000 is going to be reaching a figure of 1,3,400 tons. So that is where we are. And you you can see growth happening in all applications of polyurethane. We have a digit foam, we have a TTU foam, we have a case which is coating adhesives, we have molded foam, we have footwear, we have automotive, we have the slab stock foam which is furniture and mattress. You see the growth is projected in each and every application of polyurethane and these figures which i am presenting to you dear students has been prepared by avalon consultants and ipua avalon is a global research company who has made these figures and validated these figures by the industry so please have confidence in the growth is what i would like to say with this, we will now be going to why polyurethanes and why this course. And I will request my colleague Isaac to take over from this time. Isaac, please take over. Thank you, Sinilji. Thank you so much. Uh, so I uh, believe that those who are listening here are quite uh, excited about the potential of this industry and how it is uh, not only going to transform your career, but also transform you know, the uh, uh, sustainability and the comfort and the safety of our country as a whole. Uh, so so it's, it's very, very uh, uh, important that you remember the applications where all polyurethanes are going. And that's why uh, we are going to spend the next uh, five, seven minutes uh, you know, showing the various applications. Now, let's understand what polyurethanes are, basically. Huh? They are a combination of different chemicals, basically a polyol and an isocyanate. And these are so, uh, you know, from uh, have different kinds of uh, polyols and different kinds of isocyanates that you can get a variety of performance, you know, a range, you know, such a wide spectrum. You will be amazed. Uh, but overall, there are certain general properties like lightweight, Right, easy to process, uh, comfort and durability are the hallmarks. Then good adhesion properties. So many times you don't need an adhesive. Polyurethane itself is an adhesive. Then you have wide application possibilities because of all these properties. And definitely these are durable materials, which means they have a minimum life, uh, which is much, much better than any other material which is in that particular class. And then you have every possible form, whether it is thermoplastic, thermoset or elastomer, fiber, films, coatings, you name it, you can get everything which is so unique about uh, polyurethanes. Now, uh, as we go a little bit deeper into the different segments, one of the leading segments which contributes to the safety and comfort you know, of passengers, uh, not only in passenger cars, but in almost every automotive application, you will find there are so many items which are inside, you know, like you see in this car, uh, that uh, you can, you you have to make out of polyurethane because they are basically developed and fine-tuned and performance, you know, uh, tuned to this particular level. So you have seats, you have steering wheels, you have the cockpit module, you have carpets, and you know so many different kinds of uh, uh, materials and components which are there, uh, including uh, the interior and also certain engine parts, right? Uh, so so there's plenty of uh, you know opportunity uh, for polyurethanes. It already contributes to energy 
efficiency, fuel, fuel efficiency in the car, as well as also the safety and comfort of the uh, passengers. Then let's move to uh, the, this rigid application that was earlier flexible or semi-rigid. And now you have rigid polyurethane applications and you, you have this in your fridge, uh, which is at one end of the cold chain, if you can call it, right? How the material, uh, the, the farm uh, produce is brought and delivered at your home and you keep it in the fridge. If you don't have a fridge, then the life of that material, of that food produce becomes very limited. So polyurethane is an, an, an important ingredient in such temperature controlled environment requirements, right? So you have excellent insulation properties, but it's so lightweight, right? It is so lightweight that 95% or more is just air or gas, right? which means it does not have the thermal mass. So it does not heat up, right? And therefore it has a very good insulation property, structurally strong at the same time, good addition at the same time, whether it is plastic or metal, right? And, and uh, the versatility is of course, it can be made in a number of ways. It can be made uh, uh, in a sort of, um, you know, um, underdeveloped countries or most developed countries, you have everything. Then you have very lightweight, thus reducing the transportation cost, affordable. Uh, polyurethane saves 70 times the energy during its lifetime uh, than when it was made. Yeah, so it's so vital uh, and uh, efficient and uh, you know it, it's, it's so useful to society today. Uh, let's move to footwear. This is another important comp component, and uh, and polyurethane footwear lasts longer, lasts longer than uh, than any other footwear available right now. Whether you have Adidas or Puma or you know any other well-known brand, and even Indian brands like Liberty and Action Shoes, they all use polyurethanes, right? So you have durability, flexibility, lightweight, uh, high shock absorption, cushioning, water resistance. And of course, breathability, versatility, and definitely eco-friendly, right? So these are some of the excellent properties and performance characteristics which enables polyurethanes to be used in such industries where you have already uh, just seen. And, and of course, the, the furniture industry, you know, the, the uh, mattress industry, you sleep on a mattress like it was shown by Mr. Sunil earlier in the day. Uh, now, what are the different industries? What are the different brands that you can actually look up to who can be your employers, right? So you have multinationals, which are based out of India, who have factories in India, who have offices in India, who have peoples, who have hundred thousands of peoples who are living who are here. Uh, and uh, so you have, you, you must be familiar with the names of BASF and Dow and Huntsman and Covestro, which is earlier a buyer. Uh, and uh, also the other companies which are related, not making the raw materials, but they do have the uh, additives and the machineries like Henneker, Momentum, uh, Canon, Viking, um, Evonik. And then you have the Indian brands, which use a lot of polyurethane. For example, the Sheila Group, right? Uh, the Sleepwell brand. You have Sri Malani and you have VKC, one of the biggest brands in footwear. You have Rinac, who make the cold uh, stores and uh, the warehouses. Uh, and you know Minda, who's uh, an automotive uh, you know, uh, um, Taiwan supplier. So, so you you have a number of brands. This just gives you a small glimpse, but the opportunities are, um, you know, sky is the limit. Then, what kind of jobs? What kind of job opportunities do you have? Wide wide range across various industries. Of course, depending on the region, depending on industry and the company. Right, uh, so you have a very, very powerful cluster in the south, in the west, and in the north, and the east is developing also quite fast. So you can choose an R&D job. Yeah, there are opportunities for development of new products, new applications, new chemistry uh, using uh, the R&D skills uh, if you are inclined to it. Or you can step into manufacturing and production, uh, which involves a little bit of engineering. Or you can move into sales and marketing, which basically is uh, uh, one of the most attractive uh, segments, of course, depending on your skills. Uh, and then engineering and design, right? The product design, 
and uh, product engineering. Uh, you have you can be uh, technical support or technical service, which is very very important in these days, and also uh, highly paid. Uh, quality control and testing, if you like a lab job, uh, and then growing in these days because of the various factors which we see around us: sustainability, circular economy, and um, uh, climate change, and so many things. You have growing important roles in sustainability and environmental uh, matters, right? Uh, so you have consulting, you have education, you have training. So you have a number of such uh, avenues which are growing. Uh, and uh, let me say that just as Mr. Sunil said, that uh, we are uh, much, much less compared to China, yeah, which, which uses, I would say more than five times, maybe seven, six, seven, eight times more than what is India. So the, so the scope is vast, the scope is very wide. And you can really look at uh, you know, uh, a number of opportunities depending upon your own desire and your skill development. So with that, uh, I hope you had a glimpse from the industry side. Uh, now I will uh, give the stage uh, to Dr. Vandana, uh, who will help in understanding from the academy side. Over to you, Dr. Vandana. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Emmanuel, sir. Uh, I will share my screen. Uh, will you please stop uh, your share screen? Uh, I, have your I have stopped. I have stopped. Okay. Ah, yeah. Okay. Where is yours, sir? Just two minutes. We have to do that. Share screen. We have to do it from here. Select. Tap to share. Entire screen. Entire screen. Do it. Huh? So, yeah, entire screen. Share, share. No, this, this PPT, PPT. Yeah. Uh, our uh, PPT is uh, visible. Is it visible? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, uh, first of all, uh, behalf of uh, SK Somaya College, Somaya Vidya Vihar University, uh, myself, Vandana uh, Jamdar, Dr. Vandana Jamdar, I am welcoming you all for today's session uh, on behalf of my department colleagues. And um, today, uh, now, sir, as Sunil sir and Isaac sir, they have given all the perspective about the polyurethanes, that is the industrial perspective and the job perspective. And now, uh, here, uh, students, please understand Yes, that course is available with SK Somaya College, Somaya Vidya Vihar University. So in the collaboration with the IPUA, we have uh, introduced a course uh, that is PG Diploma Program under Department of Polymer Science. So I'll uh, briefly go through the same. Uh, oh. First, we will uh, see our uh, Somaya Vidya Vihar University's motto or uh, it's uh, it is the SVU, that is Somaya Vidya University, is a self-financed autonomous university recognized by University Grant Commission in 2019. And uh, the chancellor is uh, Sri Samir Somaya and vice chancellor is V. N. Rajshekaran Pillai, sir. And uh, it is not just, it is a self-financed university from 2019, but as a academic institute, it is has a 60 years of legacy. 60 plus years. So, and we have eight campuses, 34 institutions, 1,500 plus faculties, 2,500 plus staff, and we have 40,000 students in our campus. So, uh, this is uh, our, uh, the vision is the knowledge alone liberates, knowledge provides the opportunities. That is Nana Dev to Kaivalyam. So, taking this ahead, uh, I will just introduce to our department, that is Department of the Polymer Science, and uh, I'll give some highlights of uh, our department. So uh, that is the Department of Polymer Science is a department where all the faculties are the P PhD or PDFs, and they are some of very senior faculties are there in our department. 
and they all are from the various background so it is jointly designed and taught course by highly qualified industry academy of faculty members and industry members so that is the one of the biggest advantage students it's for you that you will get a academia as well as the industry perspective second is the it is specially developed courses with the research and industry focused training so what it means that we always take a review what is needed by the industry and based on that we keep on update upgrade our courses then about 90% of the students get employment in a reputed companies yes that is the one of the biggest plus point of our department then students are given appropriate exposure to consider the different career paths so what it means that uh, being a department where we give a uh, equal uh, attention to all the students uh, it's like a personal counseling to the students so that will make students very comfortable and even for the choosing any career path we help them we counsel them we uh, to the extent we help them as you know uh, we have our so many scholarships offered by the university as well as uh, we have merit cum basis scholarships also offered then economical week uh, students also get the scholarships so these are the different uh, things even the university gives uh, uh, opportunities to the student to learn to get a education and the vibrant research activities to produce the high quality of publications that is the one of the biggest plus point of our department supported by sophisticated in house research facilities and strong external collaboration as he said we are having so many collaborations with industry as well as the academic institutes so that makes a student uh, that gives the interdisciplinary view about all the things which they are learning in the classes even we take the students for the industrial visits uh, then we encourage to do their own projects we encourage to uh, send them for the exhibition conferences etc uh, these are the some of the pictures of our well furnished laboratory which is here in our campus that is somaya vidya vihar campus in our college so this is the polymer science lab uh, now it will it, you even the being a pg diploma course you will work in this lab that is the one of the best uh, infrastructure lab which any academic institute uh, will be having in today's day so please take a note of this students then there are some upcoming facilities are coming in the university so you are will be directly associated with that for example shimatsu somaya vidya vihar center of excellence in analytical and measurement sciences so we have collaborated with the shimatsu corporation and we will be getting uh, following analytical instruments in our campus so what it means yes that is a very good so if you see the list like ftir atr gcms ip pms then gc uv visible spectrometer then dsa dtg so these are the very high end sophisticated instruments that we are going to get it in our uh, somaya vidya vihar university so you will get the access to explore those things that is the one of the best thing which a student can dream of then we will be coming with the computational simulation Uh, in chemistry and polymer science that excellent center we will be having in next 3 months in our uh, university that will give a student a different perspective if he or she wants to do for a further research so even uh, you will get it connected or you it will be a practically connected with your theory classes so that is one thing a different uh, you know we to connect with your uh, the classes and it will complement to the experimental findings so these are the things which i wanted to highlight uh, for the upcoming facilities yes now this is a very important slide 
yes we uh, are having this msc polymer science course in our department uh, and as i said our students are got 100% internship in the academic or institutes or industry uh, as you uh, it is the 6 months internship and even in this now uh, our uh, sir is going to tell you about uh, whatever this pg diploma course so in this we are constantly work upgrade ourselves to take, get our student in a good internship or the good placement so we work for the students and uh, it is always we are upgrading ourselves day by day so i am very proud to say that our students are placed in a very good industries in and around mumbai for example ghada chemicals reliance industries consign nerolac clarient indofil chemicals aditya birla pedilite so all these names if you just google it it all are connected with a polymer industry and of course it will be uh, as you have seen or told by the directly by the isaac sir now you see how much this polymer industry is growing polyurethane industry is growing so you have a very good prospects to join this course and as a job prospective this is the one of the best course which we are offering by our university in collaboration with the ipua so this course will be of two semesters that is first semester is the theory class and the second semester will comprise of the 6 to 8 weeks of internship so that internship will give you a perspective in how to work in the industry do the project and as you know there are so many time chances that you will get the job so a person is coming with a that orientation will get the job that is our assurity that we can assure you that you will get the job and a student who wants okay wants to do the further studies so they are also having the good opportunities to do due to the nep 2020 they have opportunity to do the masters after that so all these things is uh, now our hod dr somnidev ghosh will uh, tell you in detail so thank you very much over to you sir hello <coughs> hello everybody good afternoon uh, Uh, I am Somnidev Ghosh, a professor in the poly uh, polymer science department and uh, also uh, other departments of the Somaya Vidya Vihar University. Uh, I will thank uh, Vandana Madam, Isaac Sir, Sunil Sir for uh, clearing the ground and making me excited about what we have from the polyurethane world that you heard from. Uh, previously uh, from uh, isaac sir you see uh, this is and we are launching this pg diploma post graduate diploma in polyurethane technology in collaboration with the indian polyurethane association by collaboration i mean this is something has been designed with direct interaction with the different uh, industries Uh, who are very active in polyurethanes and also some of the courses will be uh, taken up taken by the people coming from the these industries so you will get the full industry perspective uh, uh, of the field and as you know and you can see the pictures you know polyurethane a lot uh and uh, there are variety of material from your uh, pu sole to car seats and the mobile phone cover etc uh, the beddings they have the uh, different layers of soft material uh, mainly polyurethane of different types to give the comfort Uh, to the people and this is also a very growing field in india so going to the next slide going to the detail of what is the postgraduate diploma 
course all about. We have this Department of Polymer Science, uh, which is running this MSc Polymer Science two years program, which Vandana Madam just described to you. And we are launching this one year postgraduate diploma in polyurethane technology. This is one year and this is to give you opportunity to get into the uh, area, get into the job or into the career early in life. And you get the postgraduate diploma in polyurethane technology uh, and you can venture into startup. The fact that the, all these multinational companies that are coming are interested and collaborating with us on this course shows you that how much interested the industry is to get more manpower. Okay, and not only manpower, these companies, if you can Google and find out their raw material supplier. So they don't make a, for example, the big companies, they don't make the car seat or the bedding. They make them polymer or the raw material which goes to make the, uh, the uh, bedding or the car seat or uh, the, the sous-shoal. So that means that they would also like to have new companies, new manufacturing facilities to come up. So the market expansion in all in different way is the main intention. So the, we encourage and we train the student to uh, get into venture, uh, new ventures, uh, starting up new technologies. We have uh, even a venture center inside our campus, so we can collaborate with that. And of course, you can take a job in a reputed company, which has which were mentioned to you. And this is the regular uh, sort of practice for most of the students. And after a year, if a student get excited and wants to continue in the learn more on the polymer science, they can go into the polymer science, uh, the main course and take up courses, more courses from polymer science, take up more courses on research or uh, any other uh, technology oriented or research oriented uh, papers and get a MSc polymer science with specialization in polyurethane technology. And this is in accordance with the new uh, national education policy that has been launched uh, just a couple of years back. So this opens up a lot of possibilities. Uh, just I'll go through the key features again. It is jointly taught and uh, uh, designed program. They are, uh, the course gives six weeks of industrial internship. This is a one year course. So here we have six weeks industrial uh, internship and if you want to go for the MSc again you will get uh, opportunity for a longer duration internship with the industry if you choose so. Uh, students will be ready for the polyurethane industry with hands-on training. Uh, both our university and the, um, the association is putting in investing a lot to get a state of the art facility for making polyurethane materials of different kind in our center. This will give also wide range of uh, experience in a wide range of discipline enabling students to choose career paths from multiple options. For example, you can take even finance course here. This is a university we all have different courses running or uh, take a uh, course in communication if you want to get, get into journalism or edit in editing and they can as I mentioned you can always continue to the for the master's degree if you want to have a master's or MSc kind of degree uh, on your CV 
so different possibilities are there. Uh, polyurethane are one of the most important and diverse polymeric material having a number of uses in modern life. I have uh, maybe 30 plus years of experience in polymers and I would say that it is the most important uh, and diverse polymer. I mean, this is something if you are a chemist, if you look at the structure of the polymer, you will see, uh, you, you may be able to understand the kind of uh, functional groups that are there on them and makes it very, very uh, interesting. This is the area of research for future growth is sustainability. This is a huge uh, concern that has, the whole mankind is facing. And the polymer, you might think that this is an old science. This is going to be a new science. This is something the scientists and the engineers are going to change the way polymer are made. The, 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 the polymers basic structures has to change to make them sustainable. That design has to change. Polyurethane already goes into wide range of medical implants, uh, medical application like implants, uh, orthopedic shoe shows, etc. And also in the commodity market. Remember, India is the fastest growing economy in the world. So world is there for you to explore. The market is expected to grow rapidly. This is a time for you students to take up the challenge and grow. And uh, here I'll just touch upon what where, what our uh, vice chancellor um, sort of uh, mentioned or announced that, the, I mean, what we have in the, uh, maybe uh, in the website about the fee structure, and don't worry about that. We have 50% fees waivers. So the fees comes to only 25,000 per semester uh, for this course. Uh, the, there is industry uh, scholarships for five students that has been announced from the uh, IUPA members, IPUA members. Full fees waiver is possible for really meritorious students. And of course, we have the merit come means scholarship for deserving student, which is a sort of uh, a standard practice or, uh, which is followed according to the government norms. If you need any further information, you can always contact us. Uh, uh, Vandana Madam just uh, talk to you and this is uh, Swamedev Ghosh. Uh, from the Somaya University. You can visit our link uh, that are there. And uh, I guess this slide will be uh, shared so you can click on them or you can just Google and find out about the details and how to apply uh, and the required form from this uh, from these sites. And so this is a I mean, uh, course, why not to take? So this is a course, and if you still have question why to take up the course, you can ask uh, during the question and answer session. And if not anything else, it, to have fun. Polymer, polyurethane is such an interesting material that uh, you will get a lot of fun when <laughs> learning this. Uh, uh, science. Thank you all. The floor is open for question. I'll give the yes. So anybody has any questions? First of all, uh, was it clear? Any question on anything? Is there any question uh, put on the chat? Uh, students, please.
just to just to check if any anybody wants to apply, they they know what to do. Okay, there's a question from Sairam. Uh, How yes. much fees for two semesters? Yeah. What is the? Uh, what, sorry. Uh, what is the? Uh, this is per semester fees is twenty five thousand. So, so it will be uh, the four semester. So per year fees will be. Uh, No, I think what he is asking is the fees for two semesters, and he is assuming that the course is of two semesters. Yes, yes, it is the course is of two semesters only. This is a one-year course and right. having two semester, and the two okay. semesters will be having. It will be the fifty thousand. Both so semesters, per, both semesters put together will be fifty thousand. Yes, yes. Each semester is twenty five thousand. Twenty five thousand. Does uh, that but, answer your question, Mr. Sai Ram? Sai Ram, okay. So if you visit the website, it is reflecting as fifty thousand per semester. But as announced by uh, our vice chancellor of the university. there will be the fee waiver will be offered to the students so now the each semester they will have to pay only 25000 so this course is of 50000 per year so that is a one year course it will cost 50000 that fees structure is 50000 and of course if uh, depending on the merit is or with merit come basis also a uh, university is ready to offer more waiver depending on his or his uh, her or his uh, merit or any economic reason i think i am clear on my uh, explanation sign yes. up uh can you discuss about the course subject names and reference books okay uh yes uh, we can uh, discuss means uh, you want uh, the course outline yes we have a course outline as uh, uh, see uh, sairam this course outline means uh, in the first semester we will be having Uh, the courses on the introductory polymer science because uh, being a graduate students you will need a basic conceptual understanding about the polymers so that we will have in the first semester that is the uh, introductory polymer science 1 and 2 where you will introduce about the polymers molecular weight uh, then polymer solutions then polymer structure properties of the polymers then there will be uh, the course on the history and chemistry on the of the polyurethanes then there will be the industrial faculties will come and teach about the industrial perspective about the polyurethanes that is applications formulations etc and in the second and there will be a two credit course on the practicals of the polyurethane that will be there in the first semester and in the second semester basically it will be little advanced to the polyurethanes so that will be covered with the polymer lab on the polymer polyurethane processing as well as uh, all the market related aspects on the polyurethane so and along with that you will be given the exposure for the uh, subjects like research methodology statistical analysis then in general uh, polymer characterization as well as the polyurethane characterizations so all these things will be there in your curriculum and in the second semester as mentioned by uh, mr minocha you will be given 6 to 8 weeks of industrial internship so that will be part of your curriculum and it will be covered under your credits as per the nep now 
you will be having 20 credits in over your first semester 20 credits in your second semester so of total 40 credits will be uh, given to you as a completion of your diploma courses and if you wish to do further then you can enroll for the masters based on this pg diploma you can enroll for the polymer science course uh, which is the regular course in our university so uh, i hope uh, the explanation uh, will be uh, sufficient enough to understand or uh, to address your question and if anything more if you need from our side uh, our um, phone number is also shared uh, even you can contact us on the mail so we are always open and if you are being here in mumbai uh, all students please welcome to our university we are always happy to show our labs our infrastructure our college so all are invited is there any other question I think Sai Ram has acknowledged that he has understood your answer. Thank yeah. you, Doctor. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, sir. Uh, even your Sai Ram, you can go and uh, the whatever the links given, you can visit that web page. Uh, in the brief, we have given the uh, course curriculum on the web page also. Uh, Hemant, can you put the link on the chat? Uh, call yes, sir. I'm in a meeting actually. I just called you. Yes, sir. Or anyone, someone can put the link on the chat. Uh, then. Madam, can you please just, just this exactly? one moment? One moment. I am I will just do that. Yes, I have posted. So, Sairam, you please refer that. And uh, still, if you have any queries, you can always contact us. Yes, you can put other links also. Um, Anjana, ma'am. Yes. Uh, Anjana, Anjana, ma'am. Thank okay. you for joining. Uh, do you, do you have any questions or queries? Actually, Dr. Anjana Lavand is the one who helped us to organize the. Okay, thank you, madam. Uh, in Solapur, she's based out of Solapur. Yeah. Uh, Anjana, madam, if you have any questions, we are very happy to uh, answer your queries. Uh, ma'am, session was very nice. Uh, I don't have any queries. And thank you very much. Hello, ma'am. Yeah. Am I audible? Yes, yes, you yeah. are very much audible. Thank you very much. Yeah. 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 For any queries, you, you please yes. doctors, contact us for any queries of your students and you can uh, yes. direct to us. We are very happy uh, to help them out. Sure, ma'am. Sure. Thank you. Uh, so, so thank you, Also, okay, the thing is there, but in case anybody I mean, uh, wants the number of Dr. Vandana, you can put your number or... Uh, yeah, I, yeah, it is there on the website also. Yeah, but okay. I'm posting Good. it here also. Okay, so okay, we have also Dr. Sanjay who will join. Welcome, Dr. Sanjay Sonavali. We are just finishing. We are just finishing the uh, thing, but Dr. Sanjay Sunewale is uh, with uh, Kirti College. Yes, yes, sir. 
yeah so uh, actually we just finished the uh, presentation just now and uh, we're having sorry i'm just late uh, yeah okay uh, okay sir uh, sanjay sir uh, i think uh, we you are uh, mumbai based so you can always connect with us uh, i yes. hope kirti college is having the bsc chemistry students so for the bsc chemistry students uh, even not just chemistry uh, we have uh, uh, we i will send you personally i will connect with you this is yes, a very sir. good students for the chemistry as well as other uh, like so physics also like even the biology so uh, we can connect or if you have any questions i think you have joined recently now so yes yes uh, we can send it the brochure or if you uh, i i will take uh, your contact number from the menu uh, that is isaac sir and i will contact you personally so if you can help us for you know uh, having any session for your students also we will be happy to do that okay yeah thank you madam yes definitely yeah. i'll come back to you